Good day everyone and welcome to my new tutorial about Java and Swing. In this new tutorial I'll show you how to use a component called JSlider. So basically JSlider is a component which returns some numeric value within its range. So you can use it for example for zooming or for selecting colors uh, as I'm going to show you in this example. So I already created my new class and let's continue with uh, further program. Next thing I'm going to create is a JFrame. Okay, and JLabel. Okay, and now let's create our JSlider component. Name will be slider and I'll say new j slider. And uh, here I can already uh, determine few properties for our j slider. For example, first property would be orientation of our j slider, whether it will be horizontal or vertical. And let's say that orientation will be horizontal in this case. And uh, next two arguments will determine a range uh, of numbers which uh, our J slider returns. And for example, let's say it starts from zero and it ends at uh, 255. Okay. And the uh, last argument I'm going to pass is our initial value. So basically where our J slider will start. So where our marker will start in JSlider. And uh, now let's generate constructor. We'll also have to determine a few other properties, you will see. And uh, in this case, I'll try to color my label when I move a uh, marker of my JSlider. And first thing I have to do, I have to enable painting of background of our J label and I'll do that by calling set opacity method and I'll set that to true. Okay. And, uh, now let's uh, determine a few other properties for J slider for example and uh, let's determine set major tick spacing and you'll see basically what this means and it will be 10 and let's determine set minor tick spacing and let that be one. Now let's say um, set paint labels. I'll set that to true. And finally, last property for our J slider will be set uh, paint ticks. Okay, and that will be true also. And now let's add these components to frame. Let's add label on center of our of our frame. Okay. And let's add slider on south. Okay. And let's go standard methods for frame. Okay, what's this? Dispose and close. And let's go back and set visible in the end. Okay, now let's uh, try to run this small application. Okay, here it is. And let me increase size of my JFrame a bit. And as you can see, we have a range of numbers from 0 to, uh, to 155 here. And the initial value is 0. So basically this marker on startup of our application is positioned on 0 value. And 
major tick spacing is basically this. It starts from 0, then goes to 10, 20, 30, 40. And minor tick spacing is 1. So basically you can see this small tick mark here. Okay. And now if I move my marker, nothing happens, of course, because we have to attach some kind of listener on our slider. And that listener will be change listener. So let's add that listener on our slider. Add change list. And I'll say new change list. Okay. And here in this state changed method, let's first return source component where change event occurred. And that will be J slider. And I'll call that source. And I'll say e dot get source. We'll try to change background of our J label according to returned value from our J slider. And of course, I'll cast this to J slider. Okay, and now I'm going to say label set background and I'll say new color and this is RGB and first value will be 0 for example, second value will be 0 also and the next value will be I'll say source get value so basically this will be a value returned from J slider when we move our mark okay that should be it when it comes to change listener. Now let's run this again. Okay, here it is. Let's increase size of our J frame and let's move our uh, marker now. And if I move my marker, you'll see that our J label changes its uh, background color. Okay. And that's it. So I hope this was clear. So see you next time. Bye.